Samburu National Reserve, a breathtaking landscape that provides a safe haven for wildlife, including one of Africa's largest herds of free-ranging elephants. Well, Samburu and its surrounding areas are still extraordinary country because they're relatively undeveloped mm. and there's still time to plot all the elephant corridors before these get cut. But it's a race for time and space. Farms are closing in on the reserve, cutting traditional elephant migration corridors. And here is the result. During our visit, this elephant was killed, likely by an angry farmer. Definitely, because a lot of these cooperating elephants um, will end up getting shot in the end um, as problem animals and uproot you know, an entire field of, say, maize in one night or sweet potato, and that, there goes the livelihood of, of a poor subsistence farmer. Canadian Jake Wall has been working on a solution for the past five years. Well, these are our cell phone callers. These use yeah. GSM. Um, the Vancouver resident is trying to manage human-elephant conflict by tracking elephant movements with cell phones and the internet. We get positions, again, within 10 minutes, of, of no, and that transmits every hour. On Google Earth, he can track dozens of elephants at once. The closest to us is named Thoreau. So what I'm doing is I've, I've queried the, our database using the cell phone and I've got a fix for Thoreau, this bull elephant we're chasing. We head out across the reserve. By tracking elephants, we build up a picture of what elephants' requirements are. Um, and then hopefully we can better inform land policy and management down the road with that information. Using the tracking devices, we've been able to find Thoreau right here in an area of dense bush in just a matter of hours. Without these devices, it might have taken days. But something isn't quite right. Not wearing a collar, so... Hours before, Thoreau had hooked his collar on a tree and torn it off. So we can refurbish this and redeploy it. Right, yeah. it's not a total loss. No. Thoreau will be tranquilized and have a new collar put back on. It's crucial the research continues. In Kenya alone, over 100 elephants have been killed in the last year, poached for ivory, shot by farmers. That's really one of the goals is, is to keep space for elephants and to try and preserve the natural habitat of elephants um, as much as possible because that in the end will be what you know, leads to their survival or not. And if cell phones and the internet can help make that a reality, so much the better. David McGuffin, CBC News, Samburu National Reserve, Kenya.